Hey guys, what the heck is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are here with Daisy. If you guys do not know Daisy, if this is the first video you stumbled upon, this is Daisy. She is my little therapy baby. And we posted a video a little over a year ago at this point, and it did insane. Something I did not expect. I mean, Daisy has no idea what the heck is going on, but I got so much hate on it, and it's been like a year, year and a half, and I decided it's probably smart to do an updated one. Ow, I'm sunburnt, and she's about to scratch the heck out of me. This is the type of video it's gonna be. Some people commented on my old one, and they were like, we want to see the ferret. If you guys own a ferret, you know that getting them to stay still is almost impossible. Getting them to be in the video the whole time is almost impossible. But she is here. I'm going to try to have her in the video as much as possible. I also want to do a video of just playing with Daisy because I feel like that would be really cool and really fun and Daisy would love it. So if you guys are here to see like ferrets playing, unfortunately this is not going to be the video for you. I also am not a fair expert. I think a lot of people got really mad at me in my other video and I just want to preface that I'm a fair owner and just like when you have a baby or you're a parent or you're a pet owner or anything like that people do things differently people are always gonna say you're doing something wrong and I fully believe in good criticism if you're going to be mean about it or say you're stupid and fat and da na na it's just I just please don't but it's been way too long of me rambling and let's get in to <gasps> All about Daisy and Daisy's ferret care and all about ferrets etc etc so Daisy I got at Petco my senior year of high school around November 2012 so that makes her 2012 13 2014 2015 six five or six are you again that old oh my goodness and she is the most playful sweet little girl in the entire world. I have a cage tour that I will link down below because clearly this is not where she stays. Daisy is in my family's office and my mom works in there and she gets to play and even when she's in her cage because she's not my only animal so she does stay in a cage. I know some people say that they let their ferrets run around without a cage and if you can do that that's great unfortunately in our situation she can't so we have her in an area where she's constantly around people even if she isn't out playing. A lot of people ask how ferrets do with other animals and it honestly depends in from my experience again like I said I'm not a professional on ferrets I have just owned Daisy is my second ferret that I've owned and so I like to think that we have a little bit of experience with you huh so yeah see I ran all morning and so now I am tired and don't know what the heck is going on my first ferret got along great with my dog and my cat and they would run and play all the time they never tried to attack each other or anything like that this ferret and the dog I have now we don't put them together for a safety reason. So it kind of just depends. Something that you should be very, very, very careful with. Introducing them to other animals, obviously, because you would never want your ferret or your other animal to get hurt. But from my experience, I've had a ferret who does great with other animals. And I'm sure Daisy would as well, but we just don't risk it with the dog I have now. Another question that I get asked all the time or get hate on or everything like that is why ferrets do better when they're not alone. Like why is your ferret alone? You're such a bad mom, da na na. And again, I feel like that depends on the ferret. Daisy, when we got her, obviously she's the only one we have. Um, and Daisy has had play dates with ferrets before. And at one point, I'm gonna let her go cause she's running. Daisy, at one point we had another ferret for like three weeks. A girl I went to high school with got a ferret and was severely allergic to it, so we kept the ferret at my house while she found a new owner for it. And we did all of the steps and everything to get Daisy introduced to the ferret, and Daisy just likes being alone. I don't know why, she loves playing and she loves people. She gets really, really shy in front of strangers, which I think is the cutest thing in the entire world because no one sees her crazy side like my mom and I. But Daisy just didn't like the other ferret. She, and like I said, it was three weeks of trying to introduce them. And Daisy was just not having it, which shows that just because it seems like ferrets need other ferrets, most of the time I believe that's true, but Daisy is so happy by herself. She just likes it. She likes our attention. She doesn't like to share it. She doesn't like to share her home. And I didn't even put the other ferret in her home. The other ferret was in its cage. Now it just... Daisy doesn't like that. So again, most of the time from what I've learned since my last video is it is better if they have other friends, but Daisy specifically doesn't really like other ferrets. So 
there's that. It is important to let your ferrets play every day. Ferrets do need a lot of attention. Some people have asked about that and they are a high maintenance animal. We clean her cage daily. We, you trim their nails, you clean their ears. You can't just let them be in a cage. They do need a lot of attention and love and playtime. And they are little, so it's not like they need eight hours a day of playtime. Like they are little, so their energy gets out faster, obviously, than like a dog or something like that. But they do need to play every day and get that love and attention because it will not be good for them, obviously, just like any other thing. Another thing that I learned from my last video, and I swear I never live this comment down, we used to bathe my ferret way more than you're supposed to. If you look at my old video, and what I wanna do, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, as I'm not a ferret expert and I'm just telling you my experience, I want everyone, like down below, if you have a question, I want you to be able to ask it if I didn't answer it or like preface it or anything, and that way other people can answer it. Or if there's something that's like, yo, Britt, try this instead, or like, you know what I mean? I just want it to be like a nice, friendly, helpful, thing in the comments below. I did learn from my comments, which I'm so grateful, is her bathing schedule. We used to bathe her way too often, and I learned very quickly in the comments that you're not supposed to bathe your ferret. Like, some people say every three months, some people say every six months, because the shampoo strips the ferrets of their oils, and it's really bad for their skin, and it makes it dry, etc. So, you do need to give your ferrets baths. Uh, my old ferret loved water more than anything. She would, he, my old ferret's name was Snickers, Snickers would play in the shower with you and everything like that. Daisy hates water more than a lot of things. So we do really quick baths and now we do it about every four to five months versus what we were doing prior. So there's that and I use a ferret shampoo I bought at the store and like I mentioned I bought my ferret at the store. Obviously the comments let me know before adoption. Uh, with any animal you want to rescue things if you can but I got her at Petco along with her cage, her food, everything like that. Daisy does not like treats. I don't know why my other ferret, again, love treats, and that just shows you how different all of their personalities are. My old ferret loved treats. Daisy wants nothing to do with treats. She eats her ferret food, drinks her water. That's that. My other ferret would eat any type of food you gave it, so. Another thing, ferrets get sick very easily. Luckily, my baby girl has been healthy. I did a story time on the one time she did get sick, but that is something that you are risking um, with ferrets from everything that I've heard. Huh, she, I don't care, she, I just wanna run. Daisy loves running more than anything. She just runs around the house and plays with you and she loves to be in the same room as you. You could let her run around your entire house and she will stick right by you. She falls asleep in my dresser drawer. She like, I don't know how she climbs up, but I always find her in my pajama drawer. She loves, she's about to get in it, so I'll show you. Oh. I have this ball pit I bought her and it has a bunch of little balls in it and she freaking loves to play in this thing more than it. Not even like play in it, she just likes to tip it over and make a mess. That's her favorite thing to do, is just make freaking messes. My other ferret used to go into people's purses and steal stuff and drag them out. Daisy does not do that, she never steals anything. I've seen her attempt to take a shoe a couple times, but Daisy just more so likes to run and make messes. So that's another thing. Most ferrets do like to take little small things, like my brat toys and stuff when I was younger. My ferret would take them and put them under the dishwasher. They're crazy. <laughs> that's just how it is. Huh, Daisy. Right now there's a stuffed animal in there. She's biting the leg and trying to pull it out, but it's cute. You expect it. Daisy, what else is there about you? Daisy loves, like I said, she's more shy. And she doesn't bite. I get so many questions on that and I feel so bad because the both experiences I've had with ferrets, neither of them have been biters ever. Daisy like is really ticklish on her tummy, which is so cute. So you can tickle her and she'll like play bite you, but that's to the extent of it. She's never really bitten anyone or been mean to anyone. She's a little more shy, like I said, around people, but she's the biggest sweetheart and so was my old ferret. So I've never had to deal with biting and I wish I had advice for that. Do you see her? Oh my goodness gracious. I can't wait to upload a video of her just like playing. That's one thing. If you guys have any advice or experience or anything with biting, please comment down below on how to stop it or things like that because I wish I had some sort of experience with it and I just don't, unfortunately. I'm so like, I just want to be careful because I don't want to say anything like wrong this time around, which is so bad because people were so mean. She has a four story cage, I want to say. And like I said, it's going to be linked down below if you want to see like her cage tour. I do trim her nails with a nail clipper we got at the pet store. My mom cleans her ears, so I don't know anything about that, and people hated on me so heavy for that. They were like, 
my ferret is a family pet this ferret is not just mine we all take care of her and that's that so my mom cleans her ears because she knows how and I trim her nails which she hates and I give her a bath and we all just let her run around and play so that's kind of our system again it's gonna be different for everyone that does not make me a bad person because I don't know how to clean her ears but they do get cleaned not very often because you don't want to hurt her ears but we do keep up with that ferret toys besides this ball pit my ferret wants nothing to do with them don't know why she's strange and she poops in corners if she's not in her cage she we did not have to train her like potty trainer some people have asked me about that as well she always has gone in her litter box we put it in the corner of the cage and that's that but we know if we let her run within five seconds no matter what she'll go to the bathroom in the corner and is this weird i don't know you guys will have to let me know most of the time when she's done playing, she'll either fall asleep or she'll let herself back into her cage. And my old ferret never did that. And that's so crazy to me because I'll be like, okay, let's, let's go. And she knows her name. She doesn't like run to you. But if you're like, Daisy, she'll look at you. Or if you say, don't do that because she scratches the carpets a lot. If the doors are closed, she'll look at you and stop. So I don't know if that's just good good timing or if she's freaking knows her words that sounded really dumb i'm sorry knows certain things like her name and whatnot but she usually listens which is really freaking awesome and i'm trying to think if there's anything else that's like super important to know about taking care of a ferret i'm like debating because i don't want this to be too rambly for you guys because people said that before but i think that's gonna be it i think i kind of hit all the guidelines the bath her house how she plays, what she eats, how we take care of her. I think we got all of the main points. I have so many videos. I have an entire playlist of ferret videos. If I did not hit them all in this video, you could watch some of my other ones and hopefully learn more. Um, and also the comments, because like I said, I am just a fair owner. I am not a professional all that fun stuff so hopefully there'll be some people down below who will be nice and supportive and give you guys some more information that i was unable to do so with that being said i wish i knew where daisy was so she could freaking say bye to you guys great news i found her right when i turned off the camera and i just did not feel right ending off a fair video without you guys getting to say goodbye to the star can you say bye can you say bye she's like yeah, let me go. I want to play. For real, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys so soon, huh? So freaking soon. Okay, goodbye.